Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, I mean lots of it, you know, like so much that if you were to put it in your pockets, you'd have lower back pain. Subscribe to the channel. This is the channel for you. We talk about cheetahs and price breaks and all this cool stuff. And give me a thumbs up if you like this content. So <clears throat> I was I logged on to AP Max. I'm looking at Prices for gold, silver, and platinum. Platinum's up $66.6. Remember, I put a very large chart pattern in front of people uh, yesterday saying that we're at a very large chart break. Uh, it's obviously breaking out, uh, platinum that is. And I want to talk about something. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are seeing this. They're like, I got to get some platinum. I got to get some platinum. And it just popped into my head when I when I saw it <clears throat> and, and sparked me talking about this. So uh, what you want to do is we are programmed from, uh, naturally, I would say. Like we're, we're naturally uh, curious individuals, and usually something has to spark our interest uh, to become interested in it. So we hear a loud noise, then we go investigate what the loud noise was. We hear a gunshot. Ooh, let's go see what happened. Uh, we hear an accident. Uh, we see something shiny. We go look at it because it's shiny. It's like... Uh, oh, squirrel. And then we look at the squirrel, go chase the squirrel. What if, if you want to be an exceptional investor, and this is, this is some of the most important advice that I can give people. If you want to become excellent, if you want to be better than everyone else, you're going to have to be first. And in order to be first, you can't chase price because that means you're not first. It means everyone else is beating you because the price is moving up. You need to chase value. Value is seen and can be seen, I call it, through ratios. And ratios tell you relative value and it shows you what's cheap and what's expensive uh, in relationship to other assets. And that's the only way that you can value something. I don't know of another way. Because if, if someone were to say this is expensive, you'd go and investigate it. You'd say, well, what's the price in comparison to other things? You're doing a ratio analysis. I mean, that's the only thing that you can do. And that's, so don't get caught up on the words ratio. Uh, you do it anyway, and you price compare, and price comparing is a ratio analysis. So all we're doing is we're looking at assets versus assets over time and seeing what's cheap. Now, when you see something that is an anomaly in history, like the price of platinum, and that's why I'm using this as an example, because I was looking at it. When you have this low price in platinum, and it's never been this cheap on a ratio basis to the other metals and to other assets. You just have to buy it. And this is not a recommendation. I'm not recommending anything here. I'm just letting you know that you have to chase value and not price. And when I ask people, what are some good stock picks? A lot of people, they, they, put, them, they put in picks that have already gone way up. And that's not how you make a lot of money. You have to buy it before it goes way up. Now, what is the difference on a 10-bagger between drying, um, buying a stock at a price of $1 versus $2? It is a large difference because if I buy it at $1, it means that when it gets to $10, I have a 10-bagger. If you buy it at 2 it has to go to $20. It has to go up another 100% to get you a 10-bagger. And if you had bought in that 10-bagger, if it's a 10-bagger at $1, if it goes up another $10, so $1 to $20, is it a 20 bagger for that person? That's a big difference. So the money is made on the buy. And that is where you make all of your money is on the purchase and the, the price that you got on that purchase. So when, it, when something is cheap, when it's an anomaly, like a, a it stands out in history, that's the time you go big. Is when you see those anomalies, you see those very large price discrepancies or value discrepancies in, in relationship to history, and you gotta know that the valuations are, at, are in your favor and that's when you have to load up. You have to be aggressive when everyone else doesn't care about it. You can't be aggressive when everyone's buying it. Everyone's buying Bitcoin, I'm not touching it. That's just me. I don't like chasing things. Don't want to do it. I'm going to buy everything when people aren't looking at it and it's sitting down there. Nobody wants it. Nobody's it's like, here, take this. 
two cents and I, I paid a hundred dollars for it, but you can have it for two cents. I load up on two cents and then when the market conditions come rotating around, everyone eventually wants it for a hundred dollars again. That's how you make money. So if you guys are caught in chasing prices, ask yourself, am I chasing prices or am I chasing value? So ask yourself that question. I, want, I just want to make sure that you guys know this. Chase value, not price. And the, the, the gains are made on the purchase, on the buy. This is, if you like this content, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave comments below on what you guys think. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.